Carolina with their road black uniforms. And the tip goes to Mississippi State, and they're in their state uniforms. They're calling them their cream uniforms. Just the second time they've ever worn this uniform as they host the defending national champion. It'll be fun to watch that matchup on the block with Jessica Carter and Aaliyah Boston. The drive, Anastasia Hayes gets things started for the Bulldogs. Just what the Bulldogs needed to do. They needed to attack the paint, get an easy look, got a great layup. South Carolina with their first possession of the game. They're coming off that big victory at home against Auburn before that. They had been behind in the first half against Georgia, but won in Athens as they're 3-0 in the SEC. Mississippi State down in transition. Smith with the shot. You see their starters, Hayes, Smith, and Jordan on the perimeter. Debrisha Poe, the fantastic freshman, coming off a career-high 21 points against Tennessee. And Jessica Carter inside. Yeah, I pay attention to the inside matchup because those are two of the premier post payers in the SEC and in the country. And an offensive foul drawn by Jessica Carter. Jessica Carter did not play last year, but she is back. She's healthy. She's ready. She loves this new coaching staff led by Sam Purcell in Mississippi State. With an early 2-0 lead, Smith has missed a couple of shots now for the Bulldogs. And here come the Gamecocks. Here's their starting lineup, who you would expect. Cook, Boston, Saxton, and Beal. And, of course, Fletcher, the transfer from Georgia Tech after her four years there. She is running point now for the Gamecocks. Quickly ahead, but giving that one up Jordan too much defense inside from South Carolina there's Aaliyah Boston cutting along the baseline for the first basket of the game for South Carolina Mississippi State won their first SEC game against Vandy but then lost at home to their rival Ole Miss and then on the road against Tennessee. Danae Carter was not available, but we understand she will be available in this game. And another layup for Mississippi State and Anastasia Hayes. She's got all four. You know, Mississippi State's doing a great job. Holly, as she talked to you and me about this team and what it takes as Zaya Cook hits a three-pointer just to stay motivated. South Carolina knocked it out of bounds, so Mississippi State will take it. They've driven to the basket several times. South Carolina, they had some issues against the matchup zone that Georgia played. They're going to see a little bit of that today, too. Smith against Saxton. And I love what, what Sam's told us. He's, I, we said, why come to Mississippi State? He said, because it's got a great environment and they love women's basketball. He is the Conference USA Player of the Year. Number 14, Wisconsin, host Michigan State. who won six straight at 7 Eastern. Then 11th ranked Virginia, host North Carolina. Both games are over on ESPN and the app should be good games. And Mississippi State goes back to their matchup zone. It, uh, and a matchup's really, a, it's a man that has got man to man principles. They're trying to make South Carolina make shots from the outside. Saxton there with the offensive board. Boston cleans it up and ties the game. And that's what South Carolina does. They dominate the boards. They may miss their first shot, but they're going to get the opportunity for the second and the third shot because they're great, great rebounders. Get in position early. All tied up here in the early going as we approach our first media timeout. Next dead ball. Jaquela Jordan wow. and Holly. We've seen a lot wow. of layups against this tough South Carolina defense. Kind of surprising. Yeah, I, I said earlier, I said it's tough to score in the paint. Well, 
Mississippi State's making it look easy. They're doing it with their guards, not not post entries, but guard play. And they clear the rebound. Don't allow South Carolina get an offensive rebound that time. And then the score driving hard okay. at the basket is Poe. <laughs> okay, Poe. She's a freshman, Bruni. She doesn't really know. She's not sure about Aaliyah Boston. First time she's <laughs> seen her. <laughs> she took it right at her. And then Zia Cook answered back. So timeout on the floor. The ball will belong to Mississippi State. This is a team in South Carolina that keeps teams out of the paint. Typically, teams only shoot, shoot 32% in the paint against them. So a very good start for the home team. Kayla Jordan, the transfer right. a couple years ago from Tulane, splashes home. Spelling Jessica Carter right now. A miss from the perimeter for South Carolina. And into the game, Courtney Weber knocks down a three. That's the second three-pointer of the game for the Bulldogs. Well, that's what makes it difficult. You hit threes, you're going to bring the players out and, and loosen up maybe for Mississippi State inside. And a foul on the drive to the basket. Jordan walks away from the court. Zaya Cook at the free throw line, an 80% free throw. 29% so far from the field. South Carolina against a South Carolina team that holds their opponents to just 26.8% typically. And then you now see me right here there into the game. You see the presence, Brenda, of, of, of South Carolina's defense that's disruptive. They got it inside. Ami here puts it on the floor. Short gets her own rebound, tries to clear some space, finds it, and scores. Yeah, that's, that's what South Carolina does. Hayes, a little hesitation move wow. all the way to the hoop. So impressed with how Mississippi State is attacking the basket. Mississippi State with the 19 to 12 lead here at the end of the first quarter in Star. Man, and she's their leading scorer, so Mississippi State is is really doing some great things on the perimeter. South Carolina on their first possession. Great defense for Mississippi State. In this series, South Carolina has won the last four games in a row. It hasn't been since 2019 that Mississippi State has won. A steal and a score for Raven Johnson to give them their first score of the quarter. And there's that presence, Brenda, of South Carolina's defense. Great ball presence. Great ball oh, and pressure. And Hayes had an open look on the reverse layup, but missed it. Will South Carolina make them pay? Beal out on the perimeter. Again, Holly, how much of this, this zone defense is it difficult for South Carolina to crack here? Well, it's active. It's an act. It's not just a two, three setback and we're going to run a zone. It's a matchup zone. A lot of movement. You've got to move the ball from side to side. You've got to play inside out. Keeps South Carolina off the boards. They are so relentless on the offensive boards. 4.30 Pacific on ESPN. We'll have pregame coverage all day. Love it. I, I just, uh, I can't wait. And another basket in the paint, this time for Smith. And Mississippi State just keeps attacking, Brendan. And, and South Carolina, is, it's, uh, they've got to come up with how to stop it. Raven Johnson buries the three and uh, it's so good it's great competitor she is really gonna make a presence and a difference on the south carolina team good to see raven johnson back yeah and i love she said she's got to learn to kind of pass within our offense 
Uh, so she, she, uh, just learning the game and sometimes you gotta take a little off your pass. You gotta understand who can catch it and who can't. South Carolina has missed seven of their last nine, now eight of their last ten, but another offensive rebound. That's what's keeping them in this is their offensive rebounds, and then the three-pointer goes down. And that's what South Carolina does. That was, what, two, three offensive rebounds, ball reversal, gets it to your three-point shooter, and just breaks your back. Zaya Cook now with nine points for the Gamecocks, and again... Alana Smith making it to the rim. The transfer from Louisville came over with Sam Purcell to join this team. And a foul on this end. The foul was on Poe, National Player of the Year last year. To me, most impressive. She was the Academic All-America Player of the Year. Spoken like somebody that has, that has been in the <laughs> SEC all of her life, right? Oh, you just can't let your guard down. It's just, you you just mentally, you're at, the player's got to be tough. Coach's got to be mentally tough as well. you got to prepare like every team is ranked number one in the country. Raven Johnson breaks the tie to give the Gamecocks a two-point lead. Yeah, they, uh, that's, just, that's just size on size, and uh, it makes it very difficult inside to score, to rebound, uh, to defend. And they, and they were in together. They're not now. I apologize. But Cardoso is. And the turnover for South Carolina. Mississippi State really needs a basket. When they do, they go to their freshman, Debrisha Poe. Poe po had Cardozo in her face and made the play. Great concentration. A much-needed three for Mississippi State. What a big-time player Debrisha Poe is already and will be in SEC play. Cardoso there with the offensive position. What great position. Mississippi State has lost two in a row. They lost at home to Ole Miss. They lost on the road to Tennessee. But they are playing well in this game. That shot blocked. Cook turning on the jet, scoring, and will go to the free throw line. Nice. Great attack. South Carolina. Cook does what she does. There's the block there, and they just immediately turn and get into their offense and she just great crossover attacks the basket gets the end so the foul on Danae Carter and Zaya Cook at the free throw line to complete the three point play short Johnson pushing ahead for Mississippi State well oh, misses that one Brenda, a credit to South Carolina's deep. They're not allowing Jessica Carter to get any easy look. She's having to work for any, just slightly touches. And so mm -hmm. when she gets the ball, they've got to be valuable possessions because they are just all over her. Aaliyah Boston back in the game. She's got just five. What a nice pass across the baseline of the defense. Don Staley told us she would be getting a little more playing time today because of how hard she's worked in practice the last couple of days. Hey, but just what an unbelievable athlete. Turnover for Mississippi State. Cook misses, offensive rebound. Our pregame show starts at 8 a.m. Eastern and takes you right up until kickoff. Then watch the game. So many ways to watch it. Just have to choose which one, right? <laughs> Just watch it. Just watch it. That's all. All right. Just a, a one second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Mississippi State needs a score. And the shot is missed. And then a foul away from the ball. They attacked the bus and kicked out. Got a good look. And just got a foul on the on the weak side rebound. Uh, excuse me, a turnover on Carter. Last possession for South Carolina. Cook hanging in the lane. No. Watkins can't track it down. And South Carolina will go to the halftime locker room up six. And they have been doing that. South Carolina, 11 offensive boards have led to 12 second chance points. It's not a huge headline because that's what they do all the time, but that's made up for their poor scoring in the first half. A nice backdoor cut 
and score for Alana Smith. Zaya Cook fouled on the shot. The foul was actually on Alana Smith. And now she's two for four from the free throw line. And makes that. And Boston is struggling as well. Two for eight now for the reigning national player of the year. Big step through blocked. Well, they are. That's the first time Jessica Carter's really gotten, them, gotten the ball on the block, Brenda. And, and uh, Boston, what a great presence inside on the defensive end. Well, short corner shot. Makes that one. Carter rebounds for Mississippi State. Can they get her going? Matched up against Aaliyah Boston. She's going to come out and set the screen for the Bulldogs. Right. Boston just pokes that one away from behind. Well, Carter's got to get a better presence inside. She's got to be big. She's got to want me to throw the ball inside. And you can't do that standing up. And Carter's standing up. And Boston Berry is just going to be greatly missed. For sure. Mississippi State started off this game so hot, they scored 17 points in the first eight minutes of the game. They've only scored 11 since then, make that 13, and that's the first basket of the game for the leading scorer on the year for the Bulldogs, Jessica Carter. And that was a design play coming out of, of the timeout, and, and Carter, she didn't wasn't on the block, she turned and faced and uh, scored from there. So she's having a hard time scoring on the block. So what does she do? She turns, faces up, and gets a bucket. You know, it's interesting because Don Staley talked to us about the fact that both Aaliyah Boston and Cardozo working on that because even Sylvia Fowles, the great Sylvia Fowles, steps <laughs> out and hits a mid-range jumper. So we see that from Jessica Carter. That's a great example of when you're not shooting well around the basket, just getting a shot. Well, and touching the ball, and people are really keying on those low post players because they're so effective inside, and uh, it's great to see her extend her game. Raven Johnson onto the court for South Carolina, running the point. We mentioned she was out all of last year with a knee injury. Knocked away by the Bulldogs. They've got a wide open court ahead, and they draw within three with the Johnson layup. Well, great job by Mississippi State guarding that play where they wanted to go inside. They they read it. Uh, they took care of the low post, and uh, Boston turned it over. Zaya Cook puts it on the floor. No. A 6-0 run for Mississippi State, but a foul called. And we talked about the screen across, a screen across. Mississippi State went with Boston, and what do they do? They turn it over. Great defensive uh, stand by Mississippi State. Yeah, I'm sorry, it was a kicked ball, not a foul. Being contested. They're having to shoot over the defense, so it's making it difficult for South Carolina. The lowest shooting percentage of the season for South Carolina. Their season low had been against South Dakota State. Just 27% today against this stingy Mississippi State defense. And then Cardozo misses both free throws. Mississippi State with an opportunity to draw within one or tie on this possession. And a yeah. foul away from the ball call. Hall into the game for South Carolina. So they have Johnson, Hall, Beal, Cardozo, and Boston on the court right now defensively. Jordan hangs. It's a one-point ball game. Here comes the crowd, Brenda. The crowd's going to be in play because that is a loud place to play at the home. And they are chanting defense and then a foul call. To Kayla Jordan now with seven points. Nobody for Mississippi State even in double figures, but they've got good balance. Boy, and that's a foul on the rebound, but are they going to call that on Mississippi State? Yeah. Well, that, that don't fall Cardoso because she's tall. Look who she's rebounding against. So I, I think Mississippi State, they're calling probably backing into I'm Mississippi State I, I'm in, I'm the crowd I'm going nuts but I I think it's it's the right call she's got long arms 
see how she's leaning back. That I don't know if they caught it on the rebound. I think they caught it on the putback. And that's why you see she went to the line for two shots. All right, so Carter picks up her fourth foul. Cardozo misses the first free throw, makes the second to bump it up to a two-point lead. South Carolina, their largest lead of the game was nine. Mississippi State led by eight points, but that was in the first quarter. They miss a chance to tie it up here, and here come the Gamecocks. South Carolina, you saw the graphic there. They've missed their last eight shots in a row. Raven Johnson misses that one. Mississippi State trying to pop block out. Raven Johnson has the ball blocked. That time by Charlotte Cole. Anastasia Hayes back onto the court, replacing Asian A. Johnson, the transfer from St. Bonaventure. Boston. Misses, gets her own rebound, scores, and is fouled. That's a good day at the office, I think. <laughs> have a typical day at the office for Aaliyah Boston, right? Exactly. Cole going to work on Cardozo, and then a travel. Carter just with two points on one of five. She's the leading scorer on the year for Mississippi State, but she's been kept in check. It's been a defensive battle between these teams. The pass up over the top hits the rim. I think that was supposed to be a pass. One of four from the free throw line. She's a 58% free throw shooter, the co-defensive player of the year. But what a game we've got here in Starkville. Mississippi State had drawn within one, but a 6-0 run. Well, we're starting the fourth quarter. South Carolina did not shoot well in the third. They lead by seven, but a nice alley-oop play to set up Jessica Carter. That's what Mississippi State needs. Get shots at the rim for Carter. Yeah, Sam Purcell has done a great job coming out of timeouts and getting easy buckets for Mississippi and State. And Carter steals that one away. We went to break, and I mentioned Mississippi State had drawn within one. It was 37 to 36. South Carolina went on a six to nothing run to end the quarter. Here's Mississippi State. Tough to throw over Cardoso. Boy, it is. It got to be right on the money. But great play. Just got to go under because Cardoso so long and lengthy. So South Carolina was just 2 of 18 from the field in the third quarter. They get an easy basket by Cardoso. Don't you love Cardoso's ability to go under the basket and shoot a layup? And uh, that just shows the talent that South Carolina has. Yeah, it's 6-7. The native of Brazil, she and Boston in there together. Boston playing the four position at the high post. Boston with the offensive rebound. Another one. 19, now 20 offensive rebounds for South Carolina. Just a great anticipation. And knowing where the ball comes off the rim, that's what South Carolina does so well. Shot clock winding down. Beal short gets it to use all the rim to go in. And a nine-point lead for the Gamecocks. You see the graphic. 20 second chance points for South Carolina. That's even better than their average. They average about 18 and a half second chance points. So even better in today's game. Jessica Carter, though, not going away yet. Now, what a great story. One of the great stories in all of women's basketball. She very open. It's hard to draw a foul because South Carolina is so disciplined in their defensive efforts of defending in the paint. Raven Johnson gets the steal and the layup by Breezy Hall. And it is a grind, Brenda. The defense is a grind, and, and uh, it, it, it's a low-scoring game, but you understand it if you watch both teams' de uh, commitment to the defensive end. Jessica Carter steps back, and look at this. We've got a six-point ball game. I love that move of Jessica Carter. <laughs> I love, I'm a guard, but I do love post play, and I love when the post can step out and face, and she's got a little fade to her shot right there. The crowd chanting defense. Boston steps yeah. into the paint. Little 10-footer. 12 yeah. points for Aaliyah Boston. Zaya Cook hasn't, she just came back in the game. I seem like I, we yeah. had, she hasn't played as much the second half. I'm, 
So it's four team fouls. So that's why Mississippi State took it in. And they get the three-pointer from the corner, corner for Jordan. Two and a half minutes remaining. Number one team in the country, South Carolina, holding on to a five-point lead. Oh. And it bounces in for Bree Beal. Yeah, Bree Beal. It just seems, Brenda, we haven't called her name. Alone. Nice. Inside to Carter. And Mississippi State not going away. They are within six with a minute to play. And a turnover for the Gamecocks. Jessica Carter was held scoreless in the first half. She's got 11 points and nine rebounds now for Mississippi State. That one almost gets away, and it does from Hayes. She seemed to slip a little bit and lost the basketball. And just going too deep to the basket. Six-point lead for South Carolina, playing keep away. Yeah, you... And then a timeout, Don Staley. But they have given South Carolina everything they could handle. And how about that out of the timeout? Nice. How South Carolina just goes for the score. Yeah, I just, just throwing it up. And then Asia Day Johnson misses the layup, and that's pretty much going to do it. Just keep going inside, keep attacking, keep pursuing the basketball, and that's offensive rebounding. Another foul, and they've certainly shown out today and, and played hard in this game. Well, absolutely. They've had a, this is a rough stretch for them. The offensive rebounds by South Carolina, 22 offensive rebounds, giving them 20. They almost got a steal on this last play, but the foul sends Zaya Cook to the line, and she'll finish things up. First double-digit lead of the game for South Carolina. That's how close this one has been. A three-pointer for Jordan with 2.2 remaining, and that will do it. South Carolina remains undefeated, 16-0 on the year, 4-0 in conference play.